Despite the fact that vaccinations are opening up to more people, officials worry about a fourth wave of COVID-19 due to growing resistance to getting the shots. Yeah, and some of this you got to see to even believe that people believe it. Tonight, consumer investigator Steve Sprasia back to separate what's true and what's certainly false. The biggest problem with the vaccine myths, they are not based on science and they're being perpetuated at an increasingly alarming rate. Social media is being flooded with comments from people passing on phony stories as their excuse not to get the vaccine. The top myth I've seen over and over again online, the vaccine will alter your DNA. Unlike other vaccines, which use a portion of a virus to create immunity, these vaccines were developed differently. They use messenger RNA to instruct cells to make spike proteins. That triggers an immune response to the virus. It has nothing to do with your DNA. Does it get into my DNA? It is biologically impossible. Myth number two. If I already had COVID-19, I don't need the vaccine. There are reports of people getting COVID-19 more than once. The CDC recommends COVID-19 patients get the vaccine 90 days after being infected. Myth number three. The COVID-19 vaccine killed Marvin Hagler. Soon after the prize fighter's unexpected death, this myth roared across social media. Hagler's wife posting online, he died of natural causes. But the myth grew, and she had to put out another post calling it nonsense, saying he didn't die of anything related to COVID-19 or the vaccine. And she ought to know because she was at his side when he passed. Myth number four. The vaccine will give people monkey traits. Now, as silly as that sounds, this false claim came out of the UK because AstraZeneca's vaccine relies on modified chimpanzee adenovirus to make it trigger an immune response to the coronavirus. The Times of London says the Russians are behind the memes, the video clips, and the fake news stories so that it can sell its Sputnik V COVID-19 vaccine. In short, the vaccines are safe and effective, but social media campaigns play on people's misunderstanding of the science behind the vaccines to convince you that you shouldn't take the shot. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.